In this question, it is given as a resistance of 2 ohm is connected across one gap of a meter bridge. So immediately we will draw our meter bridge that will become very much easy for us to understand the question. Now meter bridge, the length of wire is 100 cm. It means this length from A to B. This length is 100 cm. First in the question it is given 2 ohm is connected across one gap. So immediately in this gap I will connect to one resistance of 2 ohm. 2 ohm. And one another resistance which is unknown and greater than 2 ohm is connected across the other gap. So in this gap one other resistance is connected is connected which is unknown. So let this resistance is R. Now we know there is from the midpoint we are taking one terminal and we are connecting an galvanometer and we will find the null point. Suppose this one length is L then remaining length will be 100 minus L because total length is 100 centimeter so remaining length will be 100 minus L centimeter. Now we know the meter bridge works under the principle of wheat stone bridge and in the wheat stone bridge we know P upon Q means this one resistance upon this one resistance is equal to this one resistance upon this one resistance. So this one resistance, uh, first resistance it is given as 2 ohm okay divided by upon R. P upon Q, Q value is given as R is equal to R upon S. But this resistance is not given, no problem. Let's take this resistance is X and this one resistance is Y. If we don't know the formula then we can solve in this way. If we know the formula directly we can apply the formula okay. Now we know x is the resistance and the resistance formula is rho l upon a, rho l upon a, okay, divided by y, y is also this one, so for this one uh, length we want to calculate the resistance for this one length, so rho l upon a, but we know the wire is same, so density will also be same only, rho l, l is given as 100 minus l upon A. Okay, same wire area will be same, resistivity will be same, so resistivity will get cancelled and sorry I told uh, density here but it is a resistivity and this area and this area will get cancelled. So after solving we are getting here 2 upon R is equal to L upon 100 minus L. Okay, so this is the direct formula you can apply it directly means this one resistance divided by this one resistance is equal to this one resistance divided by this one resistance. When these resistances are interchanged, so we are going to interchange these resistances, it means this one will become R and this will become 2 ohm. Then the balance points shift by 20 centimeter. So in the question itself, it is given the R value is greater than 2 ohm then if we will interchange the resistances then null point will be shift towards the right okay and it is in the question it is telling that it will shift by 20 centimeter it means this length new length will become l plus 20 l plus 20 and the remaining length will become 100 minus L plus 20. Okay, this will be the remaining length. Okay, now again we will apply the same rule, same formula. P upon Q is equal to R upon S. So P value is given as R, Q value is given as 2 is equal to this one length L plus 20, L plus 20, and this one length is given as 100 minus L plus 20. If you will solve it, you will get. 80 minus L. Okay, so here it is given 2 upon R. So let's reverse it. It will become 2 upon R is equal to 80 minus L upon L plus. If you will equate equation number 1 and equation number 2, 
then you can say directly L upon 100 minus L is equal to 80 minus L, 80 minus L divided by L plus 20. So, we will make the cross multiplication. It will become L square plus 20L is equal to 8000 minus 80L minus 100L and plus L square. After solving, these two will come here. It will become 200L, 200L is equal to 8000. So, L will become 40 centimeters. So, we got the value of L. Now, we can put this value of L in any of the equation. We will get the value of the unknown resistance R. So, let us put this value in the equation 1. So, it will become 2 upon R, 2 upon R is equal to L upon, it means 40 upon 100 minus L means 60. If you will solve it, it will become 2, 20 and 23 just 60. So, it will become 23 just 60. From here, you can check R is equal to PO. Okay. 